and welcome to your gold market update for the 13th of may welcome to your friday with mike smith your senior analyst for gold markets let's have a look at what's coming across the news today of course overnight we saw another choppy session on the us with equity markets closing mixed the nasdaq outperforming but the dow dropped for the sixth consecutive session major indices are still near key technical levels after that us ppi and jobs data pre-market open yesterday 12,000 looks important for the NASDAQ and of course we are only 2% off bear market territory on the S&P 500. So those will be watched with interest. In Asia today, US futures are positive in early trading. Again, the NASDAQ's outperforming up almost a percent since markets opened today. Asian indices are all following that lead and are in excess of 1% to the upside. Nikkei and ASX both performing very well and European futures are pointing to a higher open this afternoon. US dollar index put higher yesterday and broke a resistance level that it's been playing with for some time. Consequently, of course, gold pulled back below 1835 short term support, currently trading around about 1825. Oil edged higher and sits around the 110 on the Brent CFD contract. And copper, after hitting eight-month lows, is trying to bounce off that level in Asia and is looking relatively positive. The VIX, however, just smacks of market uncertainty and remains above 30. Cryptos are one of the big stories yesterday. Of course, we had a massively choppy session in Bitcoin, pushed through that 30,000 key level and tested 25,000 to the downside. Do notice it made it up to around about 27 and a half overnight and is pushing up a little in asia just sitting below 30,000 right now so expect volatility to continue in that but there may be opportunities for those who are keeping a close eye on markets over the next 24 hours be aware of course that bitcoin does trade over the weekend on some cft contracts and so we may get some significant gap in come monday on the data front today it is a quieter day with only the eurozone industrial production numbers in the u.s consumer sentiment coming out later tonight. However, the market will probably be quite relieved to take a little bit of a breather after what's been a tumultuous week. Be interesting to see how traders position themselves towards the back end of the session tonight. Let's have a look at a couple of charts catching our interest. Let's start with the Aussie Yen, which looked as though it was about to capitulate after yesterday's trading and certainly a weak day on this the yen's weak across the board today however so we're seeing a nice bounce off this low from yesterday's session at 87.85 we look a bit closer perhaps at the hourly chart and you can see that rounded bottom type of formation and sitting just below 89 cents at the moment but a move up to 90 looks very much on the cards that will be the next key technical level but looks as though the significant momentum behind this in Asia today. On the ASX front, we're keeping an eye on rare earth company Linus, a YC ticker code. You can see it's playing with its 200 EMA after a bounce. Failed to break this key level at around about 870 in yesterday's session, didn't hold it. Slightly higher today, but we need to see it above 870 before we get very excited about this. If we do get a break, then there is potentially a move up of around about 5.8% up to what could be the next key level at around about this 925 level. So perhaps one to watch and see how it goes into the close today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.